here by the delightful waterfall of Everstead, our hero, Lince Dorado, crossbow in hand, prepares for his next adventure. And I believe, if memory serves, ah yes, I am off to Kinnis Grove. Placing the marker, diving down the waterfall, then running down the waterfall, and here we are. Another thrilling installment of <clears throat> DC Place Skyrim. Take advantage of this bridge, kindly left here by the good folks, of, oh, or fall back into the water. Well, let's go this way then. It's good to swim. Every, oh, nope, nope, no, wait, wait, wrong way. It's good to get a swim in now and then, even if you almost completely lose your way. Ah, yes, I have been here before. I wish the bodies despawned. You know, like that deer that we just passed by. I've been there before. I've seen him before, interestingly enough. Yeah, continue heading northeast. Um, and I wish when, you know, I remember when I played World of Warcraft so many moons ago, uh, once you skinned an animal, it disappeared. And then others would respawn. That doesn't seem to be the case in this game. Obviously, it's not an MMO. So, but at the same time, shouldn't fault it. Oh, well, that's a lovely spot. Hold on here. Oh, this game is just so visually, you know, yeah, the sun's a little bright, but look at all that. Somebody posted on Reddit that they were, oh, is that a fallen log that like hangs over oh man this might be the greatest day in Skyrim history oh that's amazing this is amazing look at this look at this friends a fallen log that takes us oh, well it doesn't matter doesn't matter, doesn't matter. That was awesome. We we'll have to come back to that spot. Fallen log that takes you out over everything. Just... Alright, I should really stop fawning over the game. We're heading to Kynos Grove to kill a dragon. Let's see what we uncover here. Oh. Have I gone too far east? No. I still... Oh, I'm now facing west. That's my problem. I got so distracted by the uh, that log, I wasn't looking where I was going. Oh, another undiscovered dragon site appears to be here. Oh, and this is a fallen log that kind of bridges the gap. Let's see if I can make it across this one. Thank you kindly for that passage. Ugh, might be this. If, if this episode continues like this, it's going to be titled, Lindsay Loves Fallen Trees. What we, ah, sunset. That's what's happening. The sun is setting, so it kind of casts this interesting pallor over everything. All right. We'll take out a giant here. If I can get a mammoth tusk, that'd be helpful. This will help to build up my armor and such. And my archery. Shout to kind of take one of them out at a time again. Not that it matters. I could just get beat up here to watch out for. Make sure I don't use up too many of my bolts. Uthgird must have found me. There we go. This is the way to do it. Just be giant fodder. There we go. That should take one. And let's actually switch to my other bow in this case. So that way... Still building up the archery without using up too many 
of the bolts. All right, so, oops. Giants are, wow, well, there's one. I'll take your stuff. Oh, I did get the mammoth tusk, so that's helpful. Now, where did the other one go? There's the chest, but there usually are. I know I killed two. Hi, Uthgird. Thanks for joining us. Where's the other one? Oh, the beacon. We've gotten to that point. All right, another quest comes. A new, a new hand, hand touches, touches the, the beacon. beacon. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Don't tell me what to do, Meridia. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreek. I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. All right, well, there's another quest to do. Another thing that will take us to the other end of the map, which is a good thing. Uh oh, spider den. Is that a dead mammoth over here? Caught in a spider web? Cool. Uh oh. Once again, I accidentally paused my timer, so I'm just going to have to guess where we're at here. Uh, yeah. I think I know what cabin that is, and it's nothing that I need to get to now. Let's get to Kynos Grove. There's. Here we are at another dragon burial site. <clears throat> kind of a little smoggy. There's Kynos Grove. Take that dragon's tongue. Now, let's see. Harvest this creep cluster, whatever that means. <clears throat> oh, there's Delphine. Uh-oh. Somebody's running. Wait, something's wrong. No, you don't want to go up there. A dragon. It's attacking. It's attacking. It flew over the town. It's attacking. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find Mom, out. Hurry. It, and it started to snow. All right, we might not make it through this hole. I'm going to try to kill the dragon before we end this video, but oh, there's a mammoth there. Oh, there's Alduin. You can see him flying. The belief is that he is responsible for bringing these dragons back. Oh, that fox is in the wrong place. Get out of the way, fox. There you go. So, Alduin must have a shout that allows him to resurrect dragons. So this is the dragon that we need to slay. Let's just not waste any time. They usually have a conversation, but... We're going up against a clock here, so if you don't mind, we've got Uthgird and Delphine, so that's a good sh Good odds. Uh-oh. He's going to take to the sky. Watch out. There we go. <clears throat> Dragons in this game. Oh. Uthgird kind of did the finishing touch. Thank you, Uthgird. Why are you so surprised? You know I'm Dragonborn. Don't mess with me. What is this? A Stormcloak soldier who already had taken his clothes off, apparently. 
All right. I owe you some answers. We'll get some answers here. Whatever you want to know. Nothing don't die. Not damn. Really? Interest. Damn it. We're blundering around in the I'm one of So these are the Blades Dragon Slayers. I'm skipping around. What's our next move? She believes elves are raising the dragons. Nothing so which doesn't make any sense to me. I'll admit, I've only ever played through the main quest line once, so a lot of this is uh, going to be new to me at some point. All right, they want to get there. So how do we get in? All right, so we need to go back to Riverwood, which will be good because it'll be on the way to get to Falkreath. All right, so that's done. All right, diplomatic immunity. I like saying that. All right there, friends. We have defeated a dragon. Oop, let's make sure my picture is taken with the dragon bones. Because that's creepy. All right, me and my good butt buddy Saluknir here are, uh, are going to be heading to Windhelm again to do some things. So uh, thanks for joining us. We, we love Fallen Trees. That's, that's still going to be the title. So for Uthgird the Unbroken and Lindsay Dorado, I am DC Matthews at DC Matthews NAI. I killed a dragon. We'll see you around the neighborhood.